so happy to report that all of the leopards are alive and well. There's two in this tank. And they've been picking at food, so that's a good thing. I think what's been going on is they've been coming out at different times, because um, I haven't seen both of them out at the same time. But uh, these two woke up at the same time today, so that's been good. And then down here, in the little experiment, I've got the ornate on one side and the bigger of the leopards who I was worrying was being a bully to the other two, but I don't think that's that was the case. I think they were just acclimating. But uh, yesterday they were actually on opposite sides. The, there's little openings on the bottom and the top because this used to be a wet dry. And uh, fortunately they've been coexisting. So I think that that's actually, uh, there's been a debate on reef to reef about whether or not this ornate is a male or a female. Uh, either it's a very, very tolerant male, or it's a female that just has some very unique markings on the faceplate. So regardless, I just want them to get along. And so far that seems to be the case. See if there's some mice in there. They've been eating throughout the day, so they might not be picking right this second, but I've been feeding them frozen brine, frozen mysis. Eventually I'll be able to use this, the uh, live brine, which I've um, been checking on each day. Some spirulina flake in there. And then also got my couple pods. I moved the light around, so it's actually, they've been moving over closer to the light, but See, there's quite a few of them growing in this green water. And then the QT tank with all the fishing copper. Everyone seems to be doing pretty good. I bought a uh, pirate ship for my son, who is kind of at that stage where he loves pirates, so this tank will slowly become the QT slash his little fish only tank so and then RODI saltwater mix and then these have been the white worms I actually collected a bunch today As you can see, the culture has really started to take off, so. And they're pretty easy to maintain. You just put some bread in there and some uh, water, keep the, uh, the dirt moist, and it all comes together. So. I keep all the other critters out of there. But yeah. Thank you for watching. I'm very thrilled that these guys are all doing well. They'll be the first to go into the uh, the tank once foul period's up, but I'm gonna really try to get them fattened up before I do that.